Asante sana. Naomba sasa nichukue nafasi hii kwa heshima pia na mimi tumesimama mwaku kwa mtu wa kwanza na wa pili naomba tusimame ambapo tunamleta Dr. Sebastian Ndege aka Jembe ni Jembe. Karibu sana brother. Makofi kwake. Makofi mengi zaidi. Karibu. Okay. Ilikuwa katika kongamano la ujasiri ya mali linaloitwa Chimbo lofanyika Belmont Fairmont Hotel jijini Mwanza ambapo wadau mbalimbali walijitokeza na darasa likatolewa. Hapa ilikuwa nizami yake mkurugenzi wa Jembe Media Group Dr. Sebastian Ndege almaarufu Jembe ni Jembe. Pamoja na kuzungumza mengi, Dr. Jembe aligusa kona hii adhimu ambapo wengi wetu huwa tunachemka pindi ninapokuja swala la mtu kuomba ajira na anatakiwa kujieleza katika interview. <laughs> Hatari. Hivi ni wapi tunapochemsha? Unatakiwa kufanya kama kila mtu anavyofanya, unafanya tofauti. Na lazima uweze kujidistinguish wewe na wengine. Kama ni shule simemaliza pamoja, kwa mfano, kama ni binadamu wote si binadamu, kama ni wanawake wote si wanawake, kama ni wanaume wote si wanaume. Sasa, what is the difference? We una present nini cha tofauti? Na mimi ndio nashangaa mtu anakuja kwenye interview, anaomba kazi, na muuliza, na mwambia tell me about yourself. Anaanza kuniambia oh I was born, I went to school, primary school, I went to this this this. Mama yangu sio amefanya nini? Ame ame am a girl. You are a girl? Kwani mimi sikuoni wewe nijue kama you are a girl. Uki ambiwa kutema kuhusu wewe usiongelee historia yako otherwise wangekuambia tell me about your history where were you born what's your tribe where did you where, where did you school si ndio yes i don't need to know ulienda kwenye palamaganda shule si wapi uko mimi sihitaji kujua sasa hivi i need to, to hear capabilities zako zitakazoisaidia kampuni yangu kwenda kwenye stage inayofuata au special capability and unique capability zako zitakazo kusaidia wewe kupata hii kazi zinazosababisha wewe ufit sio ulikozaliwa kwani kijijini huko sio wamezaliwa watu wengi sasa kwa hiyo you must be able to express yourself kwenye kazi kwenye biashara kwenye maisha kwenye mahusiano hata kwenye mapenzi si lazima ujielezee sasa kwani wewe ukiwa na mwaproach mwenzako mchumba au nani kwani unaanza kumwambia kwamba mimi nilizaliwa kijiji gani si unasema utafanya nini sasa hey, hey. Sema ubingwa wako kwa nini huwa anashangaa sana kwa nini watu wanakuwa very good kwenye hayo mambo lakini ukiwapeleka kwenye kazi eh 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 rafiki yangu anaitwa Masanja akishangaa anashangaa eh why don't you talk about yourself kwa nini usiongelee kuhusu uwezo wako ability to work without under with minimal supervision why don't you talk about your strength to be able to tolerate any environment kwa nini usiongelee uwezo wako wa kuelewa vitu vingi kwa wakati mmoja kwa nini usiseme mimi ni multitask? I can work without supervision. I can deliver. I'm result oriented. I'm tolerant. Kwa nini usiongelee hizo capability? I'm a risk taker. Kwa nini usiseme I'm capable. I can remember things at a, at a go. I can work in prolonged hours without tired, getting tired. Kwa nini usiseme tu? Kwa nini ukisema kuna tatizo gani? Nani atakunyonga pale? Sawa? So you should be able to differentiate yourself because that is what you are. Na ndio branding hiyo tunazungumzia. Ndio maana huwa nikiwaambia watu kwamba mimi katika makampuni ambayo niliwahi ku biashara ambazo nilianzisha ziko almost biashara 25. Au makampuni, lakini aliyokufa 18. Nipigieni makofi na nicheka. Kufa. Kuisha. Kuisha kabisa. Kuisha habari yake. 